Got a notification that I made it to the Sergeant's Major Academy. Good morning, Sergeant Major. How do you know what kind of goddamn day it is? Now, that's not what this video is about. The video is about my friend. He calls me and asks me, Hey, bud, congratulations. How does it feel? And then I thought about it. How does it feel? Eh. What I truly felt that time when he asked me was, now I'm stressed out about PCSing, taking my entire family, going to Fort Bliss, Texas, and finding a house, and up, you know, try to uproot again. And after 10 months to 12 months, I gotta move again, who knows where. And, and to make matters worse, is that even though my daughter is already an adult, she lives in Seattle, she's having a great life. I have four dogs. So, which means staying on base is out of the question. So, that's how I felt. Then it got me thinking, how did every promotion? feel so let's bring it back 16 years ago that's how long ago since I joined the army greatest feeling I've had that is really prominent and I still remember today was graduating basic combat training and I felt like I belonged to the something it was such a sense of pride even though my first week I hated it I was scared but then when I graduated mm -hmm. one feeling that I felt was pride and then on top of that another series of feelings that I felt was when I was in training and it was soft. It was, it was, it was terrible, especially I'm from the Philippines. I've never seen snow in my entire life. And then the first time I've seen snow and extreme cold was in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. And it was cold and we had to do, I think it was called fire guard back then. I don't know if they still do that today. We're in, you gotta wake up. I think we were on a field problem back then. It was late at night. My shift was 30 minute shift and it was, I think one o'clock in the morning and I gotta do it with somebody else. So basically all we're doing is, you know, check everything's fine. And we were in the woods and I couldn't feel my toes. No, at first it was painful and then I couldn't feel it. And all that for just 30 minutes. But one thing, one, one feeling stuck with me that day. You know how like before you join your army, you got drama in your life. You think about the bills and rent and relationships and all that stuff that comes along with your day-to-day -day life in the society that's disappeared. That moment when everything was not ideal, only thing that mattered to me that time was getting through that moment and the people around me. All that drama and all that crap that you deal with just disappears. And there's something beautiful about going back to just the basic necessity so that's how i felt that's how i felt graduate basic training and then you know i had didn't have rank but you know in the army after six months you get automatically promoted to e1 or e2 i'm sorry e2 so i got my e2 on my way to korea how did i feel i felt great i just wanted to put something on my chest because i had fuzzy right here because we still have we still do today velcros we can just remove your rank and change it to the next one and that moment, it was blank. I just wanted something on there. So it felt great. Months later was E3, because it's automatic promotion again after six months, unless you get in trouble. So I got promoted to E3. They did a big promotion ceremony in front of the formation. Prominent feeling at that moment was getting recognized in front of everybody in the company, and I got my E3. Did my job change? No, I said the same, I was a private. Next one is Specialist E4. 18 months with a waiver. Automatic promotion is 24 months. I don't think that has changed. I was happy that I lost a lot of weight when I joined the Army. So I kept it up. So PT was important to me. In the Army, from E1 to E4, you get evaluated from, for basic soldier task and PT is one of them. I did great on PT so I got a waiver to make E4 at 18 months instead of 24 months and I got promoted. That felt good. But at that moment, that E1 to E4, it was really learning the job. Learning how to be a soldier, what right looks like, how to have friends and people to connect with because you're in the suck together. And then I became a non-commissioned officer at E5. I get to lead soldiers. That feeling, that moment, I felt like I'm not in the bottom anymore. But more than that, I felt great teaching the people that just came in, the FNGs, telling them, hey, I messed up on this one, you shouldn't do that one. In fact, you should do this one. It's kind of like a big brother. And that was a great feeling. That was the beginning of my leadership journey. So that was a great feeling to be able to lead and just teach, watching people grow in front of you. And then later on they get promoted. Oh man, I get such a high of that. I was promotable and I came down to recruiting duty. And then I saw my station commander 
My station commander on the station, if you don't know, they're mostly sergeants first class. They're E7. It's something about that E7. They're platoon daddies. They're just scary, man. But you respected the crap out of them. They're just like, you know, that's a senior non-commissioned officer. You don't mess with them. I was in a recruiting station and I saw this guy, Sergeant First Class Mallory. And this dude was just, he was stern. He was stern with everybody. No favoritism, discipline. And I, I looked up to him and I looked at him like, man, I wonder how it feels like to be a station commander. To be, you know, the man of the station. But just keep that in mind because it's gonna play out later. So I got promoted to staff sergeants, I will E6. The feeling I had was great. I'm now a staff NCO. I'm no longer the bottom, again, I'm no longer the bottom rank of the non-commissioned officer rank. It's great, but it came with challenges because now I'm E6. Some E5s fall under me and I didn't know how to write NCOERs. So that was kinda nerve wracking a little bit and I, oh man, I can tell right now, I make videos about NCOERs on my other channel, but oh, I was terrible at writing NCOERs. But since I was terrible at it, I just read the regs and called people and learned. Years later, I became a station commander. I was a sergeant first class station commander. I was like, man, sometimes, and I know if you've done this before, you're driving and you look down your chest like, man, I can't believe it. I just, you know, I'm a sergeant first class, I'm a senior NCO. Lo and behold, the feeling I had back then, I'm looking at the sergeant's first class and the station commander, the platoon song. I thought when I get to that level, I'd feel the same way that I thought of them. Powerful, calm, collected, stern, disciplined, accomplished. But when I got promoted, didn't feel any different. It didn't, I was kind of disappointed. I huh? I'm still me. I feel new. I feel like a newbie again. And I thought maybe a few years in this rank, I'd feel, you know, confident and maybe I'd feel what I thought it was gonna feel. It didn't. Since I was a sergeant first class, I work for the first sergeant, the E8s. And I look at E8s like, oh man, those guys, they're the disciplinarian of the company. They're the senior advisor to the commanding officer. I'm like, yo, that is the man. You become first sergeant, you're it. You made it in life. Not everybody makes it. So I figured if I became a first sergeant, I would definitely feel accomplished and you know I'm like the man and then I got promoted to first sergeant and I asked myself how does it feel it feels the same at this point I should be like whoa I'm a first sergeant the same thing happened when I was an E7 when it became an E8 I was driving I'm looking down my chest and I see a diamond I was like whoa I'm a first sergeant man watch out but it didn't feel any different in fact I still feel new. I was like, maybe it's just me. I have a problem. I still talk the way I talk. I still treated people the way I treat people. You know, I called everybody bro. Yesterday, I got a notification to go to the academy and then eventually get promoted to a sergeant major, to E9. Now, it keeps me wondering, I wonder how does that feel? But a few weeks ago though, I already took the role of an E9 position, which is an Operations Sergeant Major. And I've met Operations Sergeant Major back then. They're like, you don't want to mess with them. Beautiful morning, Sergeant Major. Are you a fucking weatherman now? They're just crazy numbers in their head. They're walking around like as if they got ADD, ADHD, ready to bite first arms and head off. And if they see a station commander that's messing up, you're gonna be talking to the man. And that man is not your CSM, it's your operations sergeant major. They're the bulldogs of the baton. Then I became one two, three weeks ago, and oh my gosh, I didn't feel any different. I guess I'm not wishing to feel something different. I was just really curious how every single rank feels like. As far as pride, you know, and ego, maybe I am the problem. Maybe I have no ego. Maybe it's a good thing, I don't know. So going back to the very beginning of the video, when I got the notification that I'm going to the academy, to the Sergeant Major Academy, and my buddy asked me, how does it feel? It felt the same. I'm still an FNG. Let me know how you feel when you got promoted. Put in the comments. I think some people might call it, I know my pastor called it before, it's a false destination. Where you think when you get to that place in life, 
that every problems and you're gonna be different and all the problems will be solved and all that stuff, but and that's not the case, at least not for me. I forgot what's the point of this video. Well, maybe an insight for you getting to that rank or trying to get promoted in life. So the answer to the question is, how does every rank feel? You'll feel the same, you'll still be you. One thing that I learned then, because every rank, when I got promoted, I stayed true to who I was and my belief and how each soldier, people, how they should be treated. And since I did that from early on as a friend when I was at E1 E4 and as a mentor when I became a non-commissioned officer, those are the same things that I've done. It didn't feel any different every rank. And that's probably why you're watching this channel because this channel is the high speed FNG. If you agree with this, hit the like and watch these videos next. And I tell you, stay new, you'll learn a lot more.